How's it going? All right. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to give a brief review, some coverage of this album right here by Electric Six, Heartbeats and Brainwaves. Um, you know, each year Electric Six releases uh, an amazing album. This is their eighth studio album. And uh, I just feel like every time uh, they just get more and more obscure and they're swept under the rug like they never happened. Uh, what little reviews they get from professional critics, uh, lesser known critics online, uh, are, are never all that uh, positive. Uh, there are a few that are, but I've seen at least half of them for this album have been saying, you know, they need to give it up, uh, they're getting old, their uh, sound changes too often, or it's not fire enough, uh, which if you follow the band, and even if you don't, you probably know of their debut album, Fire, that featured Gay Bar and Danger High Voltage. Uh, their most popular songs, uh, not their best songs, in my opinion. Uh, they're a little too novelty, and uh, they've really grown since then, but people, most people seem to uh, relate more to those for whatever reason, I guess, because they were the popular ones, and uh, I guess a little more accessible to people. But anyways, uh, like I said, you know, they release a great album every year, every damn year. They... Uh, produce albums that should keep people's interest, but, uh, you know, like I said, I, I just, every year I see uh, uh, their popularity decline even further, and uh, I'm always thinking, you know, this is the year where they're going to get a little bit more recognition, you know, because you have indie bands that aren't even that good, you know, out there getting a lot more exposure than they are in you know, the Electric Six are a band that tours nonstop every year to the point where Dick Valentine, the lead singer, get just about always loses his voice. Uh, they travel in a, a little van, you know, they bust their ass, they load their own equipment, they, you know, I, I've met them all on numerous occasions, and they're nice, down-to-earth people, and I just think for the quality of the music they make and the live shows they put on, they deserve uh, more recognition and uh, a lot more praise for the albums that they make. Uh, every album since Fire, from Senior Smoke to Senior Smoke, I don't know why I said it's Senior, Senior Smoke, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's right, from Senior Smoke all the way up until you know, the new one, Heartbeats and Brainwaves, they just keep progressing and trying new things and uh, getting better, in my opinion. And there are people that agree with me. There's a small, uh, there's a small group called Wicca Six uh, that has uh, lyrics and videos and their full discography and all nice things like that and a sub forum, which you should check out if you're a huge fan because that's where all of us Sixers <laughs> gather, and uh, yeah, so check that out. But let me actually get to the album, because I don't want to waste everybody's time. Uh, it's great. I know it's kind of a curveball. Uh, a lot of people thought Zodiac, last year's Zodiac, was a bit of an experiment in their sound, and uh, some people found it off-putting. So if you thought that album was weird, you're definitely going to think this new one is... Uh, kind of out there. Uh, it's predominantly electronic. Uh, I know I think half of the album is they use a drum machine and they don't utilize Percussion World, their drummer. Um, the songwriting is a bit different. It was the first album they produced with uh, their gu guitarist John Nash, also known as Johnny National. And uh, I really like what he did with it. It sounds so much different than their other albums. Uh, you know, that that Electric Six uh, trademark sound is still there. You know, you got the manly vocals and all of that good stuff. And uh, just the overall badassness of it. It's all still intact, so you need not worry about that. But, uh, you know, just the sound, they like to change things up. 
uh, some people complained it sounded like Dick Valentine's side project, Evil Cowards, but to me that's a good thing. I love that album. Uh, the, first, the record starts off with Psychic Visions, which uh, was one of the first songs they released. Uh, they released five songs on their Facebook page a few months prior to the album's street date. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites at this point, I, possibly because I've heard it over and over, you know, leading up to the release of the CD, but uh, it's it's definitely different. It's got a more... The lyrics are still ridiculous and hilarious if you listen closely enough. Uh, you're not going to get overtly uh, crude lyrics or anything from it like in some of their songs, but it's still humorous. Uh, the thing is, though, with it, it sounds more mature, like they're trying to be serious. Uh, it's got a very creepy tone to it. When I mean creepy, like, it's got ghostly keyboards and sounds in it, and it's a real haunting tune, I guess you could say. Uh, it's definitely different, but it's a, it's, it's a great opener. It's one of the weirdest openers for uh, an album of theirs, but uh, it definitely works, and it, uh, it'll, uh, it'll affect you, I think, if you give it a shot. And then uh, after that, they followed up with a more uh, upbeat, up faster track, uh, French Bacon, which uh, the first minute or so is all just an electro beat, nothing else. Uh, but when the vocals come in, it, it just hits you like a brick wall. It's one of the tastiest songs they've ever done, and they've had a lot of tasty songs. So uh, you get the whole package here. There is a little bit of guitar. Uh, it's, uh, for the most part, it's an electronic song, like much of the album, but it's just uh, a, a great song. They opened with it when I saw them about a month ago, and uh, I, I hope it's here to stay in the set list. And 